This is probably one of the coolest guitars I've ever had. And uh, you can't buy it. And I'm gonna tell you why. What is going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and we have something a little special today. I'm telling you uh, about something very, very cool. We all have guitars that we like. Uh, you know what? Let me show you my current favorite. This is my PRS uh, Fiore, Mark Letary signature. I just got this a couple of weeks ago. I absolutely, absolutely love this guitar. It is phenomenal. We've got a review coming on it pretty soon. Uh, there's a lot of cool reasons to love it. Uh, I really, really like this thing. And we won't get into this guitar that much right now because it's not important. I'm just saying we all have favorites, right? And our favorites tend to swap around a little bit depending on what we're into at the moment. I've got a couple other guitars up there that I really, really love. Currently, this has been my favorite. However, there is nothing that connects you with a guitar more than really, really, really knowing it, right? The better you get to know your guitar, the more you really like that guitar as long as it's good. What's the best way to get to know a guitar? On this channel, we talk about working on them, we talk about doing maintenance on them, but the next level is to literally build one from scratch yourself. And you might think to yourself, you know what, I'm not a guitar builder, I don't have the tools, I don't necessarily have the desire to build guitars uh, or wind pickups, but what if I could do it once? What if I could go to a place where everything was set up for success, where you went in there, you learned from people who knew what they were doing, you had really good equipment, you had really good materials, and you could actually build a guitar completely from scratch. I'm not talking about a kit. I'm not talking about getting on Amazon and buying a bunch of parts and sticking together a parts caster. I'm talking about starting from a block of wood, cutting it, routing it, painting it, winding your pickups, pushing in your frets, doing all of the things to the point that you have a finished guitar. This is possible. This guitar is one of those. And so we are in collaboration right now, working in collaboration right now with Texas Toast Guitars in Denver, Colorado. Um, I've already been out there twice uh, for this experience. I've never actually done it myself. I've just gone out there to shoot and I've gone out there to do pickup stuff. But what we're doing is something completely special. So you go out there, you show up on Monday with a block of wood, literally a block of wood. You throw it on the bandsaw, you cut it out, you put it on the pin router and get to use a pin router. Pin routers are cool. Uh, routing out all of your various places where everything goes um, to the point that you actually paint the guitar, assemble the guitar, make the nut, push the frets in, do all the fret work. Uh, this particular, and so we're gonna get into what you're gonna do on this particular guitar in a minute. To the point by from Monday to Friday where you have a complete guitar. Now, Texas Toast has been doing this for a while, and I think it's really, really cool. It is an experience like no other. And you might be thinking to yourself, you know what, I've never done that. I'm not, man, I've not been uh, around tools since shop class or, you know, whatever, when you're in high school. You know, there's a lot of people there uh, that are in your same position who don't have tons of experience with lots of tools. They know what they are, maybe. You know, and they've maybe used a jigsaw before and some various stuff, but they've never used proper, like, big boy guitar building tools. This is so cool because you're trained in such a way that you get to try all this stuff yourself. 
uh, be made comfortable on the tools, you get to learn the stuff, you get to spray your own color. I mean, you get to pick your own color, spray your own color. How cool is that? I just think it's an experience that is unlike anything else. There are guitar schools where you go for months and months and months, but not in a week where you actually get to experience something and have a quality instrument when you're done. Um, I've been out there enough times and seen enough of these to know that the results, I don't know that I've seen a bad one. I've, I've never seen a guitar come out of there where it was like not messed up and you couldn't play. They make sure that you're successful with this. Okay, so they've done that for a long, long time. <clears throat> but since I got involved with it, one thing we added, obviously, was pickup winding. So instead of just going out there and carving wood and putting together a guitar, which is cool enough in itself, on Wednesday of this class, uh, workshop, I guess, really, the, what is this called? Wood, Sweat, and Beers Guitar Building Workshop. That's what's on the peg head of this guitar. Uh, you will be able to wind the pickups that go in this guitar. Now, the one that we're doing in September with Texas Toast, you're actually gonna build this guitar right here. This is a guitar that I designed a few years ago. Um, this, we call it our Batfish. It is a 25 and a half inch scale uh, guitar. It's honestly, basically a Tele and a Les Paul Jr. shape, really. However, there's been a few things that we've done to this thing uh, to make it really, really special. This is not just a telly in a Les Paul Jr. shape. Um, I wanted to take some of my favorite things and maybe a way to thumb your nose a little bit at some of the bigger brands. Let me explain. So we've got uh, a swamp ash body, okay, that you get to cut from a block of wood yourself. Uh, and then uh, we've got the little PRS carve here. We've got the shape. Obviously, it's a string through. We got rid of the cheap metal plate and we're doing inserts here so that that is legit. Uh, we've got a roasted maple neck. Now, all the guitars that you build in this course are going to have this. Roasted maple neck, Wenge fretboard, Luminlay side dots. And as you're looking at the side dots, you're realizing, wait a minute, the frets aren't sticking out on the end right here. That's because these are blind fret slots with hemispherical fret ends. This is boutique guitar stuff. This is high-end guitar stuff right here that we're doing on your very first guitar that you probably ever built. It's gonna be a proper boutique quality instrument. This is not just some parts caster. Uh, I really like uh, Matt and Chris's design here with the two-level peg head. I think it's a really nice looking peg head. And, uh, Hip shot hardware. Uh, th there's a Clusen bridge on here now because when we built the prototype, we did not have a, they were on back order. So uh, availability, hoping we're gonna be able to have them, but uh, it's gonna be hip shot hardware here as well. <laughs> Now, all of this stuff you're gonna be able to do, you're also gonna be able to wind your own pickups. We're taking a bunch of pickup winders out there, we are taking a bunch of tools out there, and I'm gonna show you in one day how you'll be able to wind your own P90 and Tele pickup. So, this is really, really cool. Oh, I forgot to mention too, on the back of the peg head, when you pay for the class ahead of time, we're going to have engraved your name in the back of the peg head so this is identified as your guitar, which is really, really kind of neat. Um, it comes with a sick hard shell case, and unlike some of the other Texas Toast classes in the past where they provided the wood and then you provided your own hardware, this is a turnkey deal. You, you leave with this, you come with nothing, and you leave with this. You don't have to bring any hardware, you don't have to bring any parts. This is all 100% exclusive. No, 100%. Well, it is exclusive because this is the only one that's ever happened. And it's also inclusive in the fact that everything else, everything is provided. You don't have to bring any parts. 
one option that you'll be able to have. There's a couple options. One is <clears throat> instead of having a tele bridge pickup in the bridge position, which is the way I originally designed this guitar, the other option is to be able to have a hip shot bridge with uh, a P90. So you might be able to, if you wanted to, you could put two P90s in this guitar. So hip shot bridge. So when you put your deposit on the class, you will tell them so that we can have the right parts in stock. Um, if you want to have a hip shot bridge and the P90, or if you want to have a Tele and a P90 like this. The other option, obviously, is you might not want a black one. So you might want to make some other color that you like. Uh, there are some color options available. Uh, they're kind of, there's not going to be any crazy sunbursts or super bass boat sparkles or anything like that. But uh, you saw in a couple of the clips, there's some really pretty colors. Um, this has been sanded back to their durable thin finish, so it's kind of a matte thing, but you saw in the video where some people left them shiny and let the grain show through. It's kind of cool. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. This is my favorite, but it's your guitar. You're building it. So come to Colorado in September and hang out with us and build this guitar once in a lifetime, maybe, because I know a lot of people that have done it two or three times, but... It's a once in a lifetime start on something that I think is really, really cool. And, um, you know, you'll have a guitar that you'll, you'll connect with in a way that other guitars just won't. Anybody that has attended this class that are watching this video, please put in the comments your thoughts on it. And because I know there are a few of you that have gone to this that watch our channel. Do me a favor and put in the comments what you've thought of it, what you've gained from it, because it's not just the piece of equipment. Uh, you're going to go home with a cool guitar, but the knowledge and understanding, even if you never built a guitar again ever in your life and you're like, you know, I did it once and that's enough, the experience and the understanding of how guitars work is really, really, really going to be of value to you, as well as... a. Look in the comments. There's gonna be a bunch of people down there that have done this before, and they're all friends now. The community surrounding this is absolutely phenomenal. I've made friends there that I'll probably have the rest of my life. It's a really, really cool deal. So, it's not just the guitar. I mean, it's mostly the guitar, but it's not. It's all the friends you make, it's the experience you have. It's super, super cool. And I wanted to share it with you today. Um, I think that learning this stuff is important uh, for how you play guitar and why you play guitar. Um, people get in the comments and want to know all these crazy questions all the time, but to be able to zoom out, make a whole product that you can play yourself and you know from tip to tail everything about it, I think is the best way to learn how all this stuff works. Thanks for hanging out. I know it's a little bit different video, but uh, I think you'll dig it. I hope you dig it, and I hope you sign up. There will be a link to it in the description below. I want to sell this one out, and I want to do it again because this is really, really fun. Um, yeah, and there's a bunch of other stuff, too, that they do at Texas Toast that you might want to check out. So uh, this is not sponsored by Texas Toast, but obviously I'm stoked if you sign up because I get to meet you, and we get to make pickups together. So um, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you. In the next video, we've got a live stream on Thursday. Oh, <laughs> we've got a live stream on Tuesday. I'm going to try a new thing. Live stream on Tuesday, news on Wednesday, live stream on Thursday, video on Monday. Let me know what you think. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.